welcome to the fourth episode of TestBench video tutorials. As you have learned, our tests are expressed in Java. It's a simple and powerful language, but too often tests are just recordings that verify one single execution path, that it works like it once did. In this episode, I will show you an example how you can refactor your recorded test to be much smarter. With little manual programming, you will get a huge improvement in testing quality. With well-structured tests, you can recycle parts and create more tests in the future with less work. We will start by refactoring. Click on the plus sign to something more self-documenting. And then we will do the same thing for equals click. Next, I will refactor the hard-coded result verification to a function with a proper parameter. Now the last non-self-documenting part is clicking on the numbers. We'll fix that in the same manner. And then we can try out the test. Now consider if you would like to modify your test so that it uses larger numbers. The current solution doesn't support it, but it shouldn't be too hard to modify the function so that it works with any, any kind of numbers. That should do it, and now let's try with some larger values. Our test is already now much more readable and much more configurable. But to stress more our application, I will create a loop. In this loop, we will do the calculation many times in a row.
naturally we wish to use different values in each iteration. I will use pseudorandom numbers to make the test repeatable in the future if something fails. The tricks we did in this video was just a glimpse of what you can gain by refactoring your tests properly. A suitable architecture in your tests will help in the same way as it does with normal software development. Selenium Wiki has a dedicated page for design patterns and development strategies. Check that out if you want to learn some more about proven ideas. That's it for this episode. In the next part, we will have a look at test bench feature called screenshot comparison.